a man invested P for two years at 11% simple interest in scheme A. He invested P plus 600 in compound interest for two years at 20% annual compounding. If the amount received from scheme A was less than the amount received by scheme B by rupees 1216, what is the principal amount? So basically, we have to find out the principal amount, right? P. P is equal to what? P is equal to what? Now, a man invested P, the principal amount, for two years at 11% simple interest in scheme A. So scheme A, simple interest, invested P for two years at 11%, 11% per annum. What is scheme B? There's another scheme. Scheme B. What is scheme B? He invested P plus 600. So this time the principal has changed, right? It is P plus 600. So principal amount is P plus 600. Yeah. Compound interest. So this is a CI case. For two years. Yeah. For two years at 20% per annum. 20% per annum. And this is the annual compounding, which means the regular compound interest case, right? Annual compounding. And will compound. Now, if the amount received from so there is some amount that he gets in scheme A, let's say amount received in scheme A is AA, amount received in scheme B is AB. So, the amount received in scheme A was less than the amount received in scheme B by 1216. So, basically, the equation is AB amount received in A was less in this uh, when compared to B, amount received in scheme A is AB minus 1216. This is the equation. You understand? This is the data. This is the question basically. Different values have been given simple interest or compound interest, P or P plus 600, 2 years and 2 years in both the cases, 11% and 20%. Amount. You know what is amount, right? Amount is interest plus principal. Interest plus principal. Yeah? So, amount of A is amount of B minus 1216. From this, we have to calculate P. What is P is the question. Now, do the calculation. See, amount in A minus amount in amount in A, or I can now say amount in B minus amount in A equals to 1216. 1216. Amount in B minus amount in A is 12. What is amount of B? Um, B. So, compound interest in scheme B plus principal. Yes or no? Compound interest plus principal. Amount is compound interest plus principal. Yeah? which is, you know, compound interest of B plus principal of B minus amount in A, compound interest of, sorry, A is not a compound interest case, right? A is a simple interest case. Huh? So, A is what simple interest case? So, simple interest in A plus principal of A equals to 1216. Substitute the values. Do the calculation. What will be the compound interest? 2 years at 20 percentage. You know that compound interest is calculated using effective percentage formula. So, A plus B plus AB by 100. So, compound interest will be equal to 20 plus 20 plus 20 into 20 by 100. I will say it is 44 percentage. Don't ask me how 44 percentage. If you are not able to follow how we have got 44 percentage here, 44 percentage of the principle of B which is P plus 600, right? So, if you are not able to follow how we have got 44 percentage of principle of B, go check the videos. Simple and compound interest videos. So, compound interest is 44 percentage, 20 percentage for 2 years, right? 20 plus 20 plus 20 percent of 20, A plus B plus AB by 100. So, 40 plus 4, 44 percentage. What is the simple interest? 11 percentage per annum for 2 years, simple interest will be 22 percentage. Simple interest is simple to calculate, principle of A. Yes or no? 11 percent in first year, 11 percent in second year, total 22 percentage. That is it. Substitute the values and do the calculation. So, compound interest of B, 44 percent of principal of B, which is 44 percent of P plus 600. Plus, so this is CI, plus principal of B. What is the principal of B? P plus 600. Minus simple interest. What is simple interest? 22 percent. 22 percent of P of A. I mean, 22 percent of PA, principal of A, which is P. So, minus 22 percent of P. Minus P A minus P is equal to 1 to 1 6 is equal to 1 to 1 6. You understand? Now do the calculation. See if you see what happens here. 44% uh, of P minus 22% of P. 
44 percent of phi minus 22 percent of phi will be 22 percent of phi. 44 percent of phi minus 22 percent of phi is 22 percent of phi. Yeah, 44 percent of 600. How much is 44 percent of 600? 44 percent of 600. So 40 percent is 240. 4 percent will be 24. 264. Plus p plus 600 minus p. Remember this minus p equals to 1216. Can you not solve now? What is complex about this? So plus p and minus p gets cancelled. Now do the calculation. What do we get? 22 percent of p equals to see 600 plus 264. 600 plus 264 is 864. 1216 minus 864. So 1200 minus 800. 400. 16 minus 64 minus 48. 400 minus 48 is 352 352 yeah 352 right or not 1216 minus or I mean 1216 minus 600 is 616 616 minus 200 is uh, 416 416 minus uh, 4 is 412 412 minus 60 412 minus 60 is 352 right 22 percent of the principal amount 22 percent of the principal amount is 352 what is the principal amount do that one more step i am doing the complete calculation because some some of you did not follow the calculation last time right so i am writing all these steps but you can cut it down like i always say you can cut down the number of steps if you have understood how to solve you can cut down the number of steps 352 by 22 now i will say 352 is uh, 330 plus 22 330 by 22 is 15 22 by 22 is 1 you understand Split and merge. This this technique has been discussed in the speed match topic, right? 352 by 22. 352 is 330 plus 22. So 15 plus 1, 16. 16. 16 into 100. 1600 is the final answer. Then why do you get all those variety of answers? Yeah? 1600 is the final answer. Now, before I jump to the next one, I like always would like to highlight what all is not required. Not required. This is all drama this is a question what i have written on the left half is just the question the data from the question has been put up here this is not needed this is also not needed this is also not needed you know a smart person will start the calculation only from this step onwards so if you really look at it all this red is not needed what is needed is this 44 percent of p plus 44 percent of 600 plus p plus 600 minus 22 percent of p minus p equals to 1216 there also i would say cut down this step this step is also not needed you know plus p minus p gets cancelled 44 percent minus 22 percent is 22 percent and then 864 equals to 1216 that's it so this is the next step and here itself you should say answer is 600 even the other two steps are not needed so simple two step answer in my view if you have understood just two two steps I mean, of course, that involves a little bit of mental calculation. But if you cannot do it, if you're not prepared for doing that mental calculation, if you cannot afford to do it, then you are out of the race. This is a waste of time. This step is not needed. This is detailed explanation. You will not be given two marks for writing all the steps. This step is not needed. This is not needed. Only what is in green is needed. Everything else is a waste of time. Anyway, the final answer is 1600, which is the principal amount. So what happens here? Good point, Ayushi. I think very valid point. Yeah, so next step is he, he, he is asked us to find out the principal amount. Now, is the answer really 1600? We don't know because he is not very explicit about which principal amount is he referring to. Is he referring to P or P plus 600 or total principal? So, you know, answer can be taken as 1600 if it is P. P is 1600 basically. But P plus 600 will be 2200. Now, if this P refers to total principal, total principal amount, then it should be, one second, spelling of principal is wrong, let me just correct that, principal is PLE, right? So the total principal amount in this case would be PA plus PB. So 1600 plus 2200, 3800, yeah. So this again is not very clear from the question, which principal is he referring to, but yeah, depending on the answer options, we have to choose one.